Hello everyone, I am COVID, yes COVID-19 from coronavirus family, today I'm going to tell you about myself, along with my pathology, for now go and wash your hands, stay clean and stay away from me, Mr. Creator, can you please play intro video for my channel, ok ok your channel, play the intro please. I am a novel coronavirus, named SARS-CoV-2, severe acute, respiratory syndrome, coronavirus 2, causing series of acute atypical respiratory diseases, termed COVID-19. I am transmittable between humans and am causing pandemic worldwide. Lack of targeted therapy for me, continued to be a problem for you people, but I enjoy. You silly humans, don't you understand that you have to stay away from me, you don't know why. Watch the video to know more about me. I fall into beta class of coronavirus. I primarily affect the respiratory system, although other organ also involved. Lower respiratory tract infection related symptoms including fever, dry cough and dyspnea, or shortness of breath, are initial symptoms. Headache, dizziness, weakness, vomiting and diarrhea were also observed in some people whom I affected. I have five stages of my life cycle, namely, attachment, penetration or infusion, biosynthesis, maturation and release. We'll look at each stage in detail. Talking of structure, I am enveloped, have positive sense, and a single-stranded RNA. I can infect in two ways, one is, fecal rod method, in which fecal matter from affected person falls into drainage and people nearby to that can get infected. Or in other way it's airborne method, this is due to coughing, sneezing, or through respiratory droplets. Well, I have potential to spread, and can infect a person up to 6 feet. I can sustain on any surface for at least 24 hours, any person touching that surface might get infected. While walking, if a person coughs or sneezes and move away from there, I am still there in air for up to three hours, and can infect any passerby, I'm quite good dude. When I enter your body, I travel directly to your lungs and from there I move in alveoli, your alveoli has three types of cells, type 1 for gaseous exchange, type 2 for surfactant production and type 3 are macrophages. ACE2 key receptors are present, this ACE2 converts AT2 enzyme into AT1 to 7 enzymes, which lowers blood pressure and are anti-inflammatory in nature. Here I bind to type 2 cells, my S proteins are key and they bind to ACE receptor lock present there, this was stage 1 of my life cycle, now stage 2 occurs, when I penetrates into your cell, I hijack your transcription mechanism, this reads my RNA as 5' prime to 3', prime. Then stage 3 begins, now I synthesize polypeptide proteins using proteases, which reads my RNA as 3' prime to 5'. Prime. Magic, isn't it? Now further S proteins, other surface proteins and sugars and membrane also get synthesized, now using transcription I make copies of my RNA, there begins stage 4, now using all these materials I make lots and lots copies of myself, and then, boom, with a burst we get released into your body, due to burst your body releases pro-inflammatory cytokines, these make blood vessels more permeable and blood fluid. I mean plasma buddy, starts leaking out, it leaks between blood vessel and alveolar tissue, which makes impossible for gases to get exchanged, this is due to localized inflammation. These cytokines jump into your bloodstream, and travels whole body to cause systemic inflammation, it results in septic syndrome and then organ failure may occur. Since surfactant producing cells are bursting, so it also causes collapsing of alveoli. Cytokines in bloodstream can cross blood-brain barrier, and mainly reach hypothalamus which regulates your body temperature is attacked and your temperature starts rising. Now fluid is built up in alveoli, gaseous exchange is not taking place, inflammation in alveoli, temperature is rising, and when immune response occur it leads to fibrosis, as fibroblasts come for repair of epithelial cells, result in scar tissue, forming in lungs and making them hard, and thus making it impossible for gaseous exchange. Now you have lots of virus in your lungs, and it causes irritation, due to which coughing occurs and viral bodies are expelled out. If felt these symptoms and left unchecked it can be fatal for you. 
Hope that worked for you. Thank you. Stay home and stay healthy. Keep yourself clean and stay away from me. Bye bye.